the average age in the kitchen is about 22, I believe. We are a very, very young team. Everyone all looking towards the same common goal. We are very lucky in the fact that we have a strong, full team of people who are energised about being here every day. My name's Connor, 25. I've been working for Tom Carriage now for 10 years on and off. So I started at 15 with a week's work experience and now I'm head chef at the Bull and Bear. Bull and Bear itself is sat directly in the old trading floor of the old stock exchange in Manchester. So we have a 12-seater chef's counter which looks directly into our open kitchen. We have a small bar that sits at the back that's nice and snug and cosy. And then you have the big grand dining space itself. One thing that I learned massively through working for Tom is seasonality. Working with the seasons is the way that you get the best ingredients. We're trying to get as much locally sourced as we can. We've used a couple of different local growers, a company called Cinderwood, a small grower, but they grow the most beautiful local veg. It's all about seasons. Seasons is where you can create the most delicious, simple but beautiful food. The Tom Carriage brand is using amazing seasonal food and letting it shine for itself. And that's really why I've chosen these dishes to show you today. So the baked potato is actually a dish from day one from the Bull and Bear. It's so beautiful. It shows everything Tom is about, essentially. There's not many fine dining restaurants you can go to and have a baked potato, in all honesty. So we use a beautiful Linda potato. We roast them up on the rotisserie, then scoop them out. We then gently mash with the back of a spoon the potato, and then we fold that with creme fraiche, chives, cracked black pepper. We then refill that into our potato, and on top it's a diced steak, mixed with a tartar relish, and then a confit beef egg yolk on top. The souffle is a very ingredient-led dish. The cheese sings for itself, and then we just use a very beautifully lightly dressed grape salad with some walnuts in it. Very simple, but brings maximum flavour to the dish. So the ratatouille tart, I mean, we start off in a little lemon brush, Frida Brick tart case. So you get a lovely crunch at the base. And then in the bottom of the day, have a caramelised onion. On top of that, we sit a confit saffron potato. And then we make a tomato fondue and make our own style of ratatouille. It's like a caramelised tomato fondue with all your veg that you would get into your ratatouille folded into it. And then a beautifully just warm through beef tomato that's been peeled, cut in half, sat on top. And then we finish it with a basil espuma and then a lovely sun-dried tomato. So it's very aesthetically pleasing to look at. It's light, but rich. It's one of those ones that puts a smile on a lot of people's faces. Cornish mackerel, it's a very simple but clean dish. So you have mackerel that has just been salted and blowtorched very gently. At the base, we have a grape and almond aya blanco. So we blend down green grapes, almonds, garlic, and some vinegars. So you have a slight acidity, but creaminess of the almonds and then that slight sweetness from the grape coming through and then we salt bake heritage beetroots and then dress them in a almond and sherry vinegar dressing and then gently built up and that is it so you see very minimal on the plate but there's an incredible amount of flavour going into this dish. I'm Nicola, I'm one of the sommeliers here at The Bull and Bear. The wine list at The Bull and Bear is a selection of wines that we're really passionate about and things that we're excited by that people may not always go for or choose or recognise and the things that we know work really, really well with the menu. Yeah, Manchester are pretty adventurous with the wine, actually. They trust us with quite a lot. A lot of people just close the menu and say, give us whatever, which is always great. Some people want to go with what they know, and that's great, we can always accommodate for that, and you know you're going to have a good time with that. But some people really want to go off the beaten track, and that's always great to see as well. It's all about the experience, so it's it's the most important thing, is making sure the right person gets the right wine. Whether that be £29 or £5,900, it has to be the same experience. Everyone wants to just cook great food, and if you're into hearty, simple, delicious food that's made with the best ingredients, Tom Carriage is the man to do it for, and luckily I've been given the opportunity to show these guys a thing or two about what Tom does. <laughs>